What it do, baby? Welcome. No, no, no. Eh. I kind of want to kind of just reset myself today, get like re adjusted with my goals and what I want to do just kind of get re-motivated and reset and like just off on a better foot than I have been lately because I have been feeling just really tense letting my problems kind of overrun me instead of taking charge of all of the issues that I need to be taking charge of sorry this is like a lot to start the video with <laughs> hello we're fixing our problems okay so i just want to like get back on track with being aligned with what makes me feel good every day to do which i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate because corona is kicking my whole ass and i don't know about you guys but it's very unmotivating for me just to have to worry about so many other things on top of just, you know, being in a global pandemic, honey. Yes, today I'm going to kind of just show you guys what I'm doing to get it together, basically. Just get it together. I actually do want to start off this video, though, showing you guys what I've gotten done in my apartment so far because I'm loving it so much. So I'm just going to give you guys a little, like, updated tour. So you walk in, and then here you have... The entertainment center, which I know I said he hung the TV too high and I stand by that, but I got some things to kind of give it height and I don't mind the way it looks now. And then over here, we have my beautiful, big, luscious new couch. And I'm so glad that I stuck with my intuition and kept this couch instead of getting that refund I was gonna get for it. My beautiful Christmas tree, still needs some ribbon. Absolutely nothing is going on in that room. My mirror. My kitchen slash dining room. Nothing to see here. There's the art that I still need to hang up. And nothing new is in my bedroom. I stopped journaling a good two, maybe three months ago. And I've decided to buy myself a new journal so I can get back into it because what I've learned with journaling for me is I don't want something that's gonna take me 30 minutes to do, which is what I had before, which is why I think that I got really burnt out on it because although I did love it, it's just, I'm really trying to get up and go in the morning as I'm trying to like get my day started and I'm having anxiety about that. I don't need to sit here and have like a homework essay to write out before my day, I just don't. I need something that's gonna be efficient and really helpful, so what I really like, I'll link the planner that I really, really loved the most. This one's called the Daily Planner. And what I, I just don't understand is, okay, so you open it, right? And then it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Kind of just like you giving a rough draft on what you expect your week to be like, okay? And then obviously, then you can go in and you can do your micro stuff, like that actual day, everything to do. But then it repeats the week again. Like, what? Huh? Man, how the fuck? I don't get that. I really don't get that. So if you guys know what it's trying to tell me, um, let me know. But there's also no instructions, so. So I wrote down three things that I need to do today. I like to keep it to a good three major things that are gonna take more than an hour to do only three things that are gonna take an hour or more than an hour. And then at the bottom in the notes section, I just like to write an affirmation to myself. And I wrote, you can put, do anything that you put your mind to. And I can put more if I'm feeling like I, you know, just really wanna sit there and give some time back to myself and write what I'm grateful for. I can do all that as well if I feel like it, but today I do not. Also, I wanna show you guys what I did the other day. So I was just feeling really, my mental health was not in a good place and I was feeling just really overwhelmed and like I wasn't just, really just my mental health just wasn't there and I was stressed. So what I did was I journaled in this other notebook. This is just a blank canvas notebook. I wrote down all of the problems that I was having and I'll read them to you guys. So I wrote down three problems that I was having that was causing me a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of just being overwhelmed. 
So my first problem was too much phone time. I felt like I would just walk around my house and like do daily tasks while also my mind was being stimulated by my phone. And you guys know the feeling that I'm talking about when you've been on your phone too long. It's like you just feel numb, like you're, you're not connected to yourself whatsoever. Whenever I spend too much time on my phone, I feel so far disconnected with myself and just so like it's just it doesn't put you in a good mood ever. Never have I ever just scrolled on my phone or like, I don't know. Also, I'm very ADD and my mind is very like a very chaotic place. So for me, it just I feel like numb. I felt like I was just scrolling on Instagram. Twitter, TikTok, way too much. So I wrote too much phone time. I was not working out five times a week. My goal is four, but I would, in a, in a dream world, we would like to be at five. I wasn't working out five times a week and I wasn't saving my money. So then I just wrote down the solution to my problems because I could have sat there and just cried about it for the rest of my life and nothing would have happened, but we have to actually create a plan in order for things to change, honey, okay. My solution to my phone, my problem on having too much phone times is set limits on phone, hold myself accountable with boundaries. So I set TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter all on my phone to an hour. And I just started doing that yesterday and it helped me so much with getting down my phone time. And just even having that pop up, that's like, you've been on your, your past your phone time. It also just doesn't even let you see the app whatsoever whenever you get on your phone. And it's just really eye-opening to how much we just go on our phone and just immediately click those apps for absolutely no reason other than the fact that there's nothing else to do in that moment or maybe there is something to do in that moment we're just distracting ourselves i feel like i'm a teacher right now that's what i feel like <laughs> well yeah that was really really helpful for me so every time i get on my phone i'm gonna try to have it be for a purpose and i'm just gonna it's really it's one of the hardest things i think our generation is gonna have to learn how to do is be able to control ourselves around these devices that are programmed to be addictive to us it's unlike any other thing really it's just so addicting so bad for your mental health like i contemplate deleting social media every day and i do i love so many things about it i love so many things about social media but there's also a very, very, very big negative side as well, just like with anything. So I think that's one gonna be one of the biggest things that our generation and generations to come have to overcome is being able to give themselves boundaries within having social media. Not working out five times was one of my problems and my solution was wake up earlier and do it then first thing. So I haven't, I didn't do that yesterday. I'm gonna try to start waking up at my 6 a.m. time again I'm gonna try, but I did work out four times last week, so gave me. My last problem was not saving money and my solution was keep money in my OnlyFans and pull out weekly and only spend half. So I usually just pull it out every day and then money comes in every day and then I'm like, oh, I want this with this money. Oh, I want this with this money. And then it just flies out the window. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> like, it's bad, it's really bad. That is kind of what I'm doing in terms of journaling. And I do need to take my dog on a walk right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take him on a walk and go make some coffee and then get my day started. So I just got done shopping, which is very counterintuitive with my goals. But, you know, it's fine. Definitely didn't need to do that. But I just am waking up feeling like I'm wearing the same five things over and over and over. And I needed to get new stuff. And I'm really, really was intrigued by this perfume. So I had to come get it. So, you know. Self-care, I feel like, can be a good thing whenever you're, you know, feeling down. Um, I also got my eyebrows done and I got a coffee. I would definitely suggest a coffee whenever you're trying to get your life together. Um, so now I'm just waiting for my Uber and I'm gonna go home and do some work. My eyebrows look a little bit crazy because they're freshly dyed, so just don't judge. Don't judge yet.
Whoa, when did this happen? What the hell? I'm not mad at it. Girl, okay, 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 okay. So I wanted to interrupt kind of like my little getting back on track, like trying to get re-motivated and stuff video, which I just realized I kind of filmed one of these a while back, like a getting on track video, but you know, there's not a limit <laughs> to how many times you can pick yourself back up, okay? Every time you feel down, pick yourself right back on up, create a new plan, create a new thing. Like we are never giving up, okay, period. Like we're gonna get what we want out of this life. We're gonna be who we want in this life. And that's it, that's it, that's all. There's no other option. I wanted to do a little clothing haul for you guys because I have a lot of new clothes that I haven't tried on yet. And I, want, I just thought it'd be fun to kind of bring you guys along with me so you guys can find some new cute stuff. Two, I love watching try on videos because that way I can see what works for other people and that's it's an easier way to online shop. I'm just going to show you guys some stuff from three stores, Opali, and then in my last video, if you saw, there's this place called Blonde Bay Boutique that the girl who does my hair runs and she has such cute stuff. I think I only have like one piece that I haven't worn from there that you guys haven't seen. And then Nordstrom. Okay, sorry, I already changed my bottoms into one of the bottoms from Opali. But this shirt is actually from Nordstrom, from the Topshop section, and I am obsessed. I'm not really sure what it says, what does it say? I don't know, some like spiritual stuff. It's just really cute, something about the moon. And I love it because it has this little tie thing right here. You can just make it tight and then hide it, and it looks like a big crop. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, immediately. Okay, this is from Opali. It is their last swimwear drop of the year and I am always looking for swimsuits year round because I'm for photo shoots and stuff so I usually take pictures and stuff and photo shoots pictures and stuff in swimsuits year round and this is so cute I'm absolutely loving it okay and next is this dress from Opali that I really do love I just think it might be a little bit too small it could work, but I think a small would work better. I don't know, just something like a little bit more breathable because this is really, really tight. And I just tried on this dress from Opali 2 and I couldn't even get it on and they're extra small, which is weird because I always wear extra smalls from them. And like, whew, yeah, this is hard to get into. But here's a dress anyways, in case you guys want to see it. I really do like it. I just think I might need to size up. So I'm probably gonna send it back. Oh my God. I am obsessed with this dress. Like, yes, they, I don't understand. See, this is an extra small and it fits me fine, but those two are extra smalls and they don't fit me fine. I don't know if this one's just a little bit more stretchier, but it fits me like a glove and it's so cute. I love that it has this halter. I love a halter. So I wanted to show you guys this one in the mirror because it's like a really long kind of thing to see. And as you can see, it's so cute. I love the strappy detailing from the pants. Oh, okay, well, it's coming untied. And then they tie in the back. Cute, and this is an extra small as well, like the whole set. But as you can see, the pants are just not going to work for me. Um, so I'm gonna go to a tailor and see about getting them hemmed because I really love this. And this is just kind of the story of my life when looking for clothes or pants anyways in the first place. Like nothing ever, ever, ever fits me, right? So, I mean, I could like, this is me standing on my very tippy toes and this is what it would be like in heels. It's just still like way too long. This is rid <laughs> ridiculous, honestly. I, it's kind of weird how I feel like it kind of, um, goes early as well with the bell bottom. Like the bell bottom starts kind of at an odd place, but I still like it regardless. And I'm gonna try to go get it tailored. I also got from Opali these cute black shoes. And I really like these because I'm always worried about with shoes that don't have a strap on them, if they're going to be tight enough, but these are. Now we are getting into my true self. <laughs> Um, so this is from Nordstrom. That is all that I've got from Opali. Um, I just got this really cute little loungewear shirt that says be a better human. 
And then I have, I got these really cute um, sweats. I'm, I love a gray sweat top. Just gives me life. Gray sweats just speak to me. Um, but it has this really cute like little, I thought it was very kind of 2000s-y, this bling bling right here. I'll try to link as much stuff as I can below as well. Next thing I got was just this really simple, little cute um, crop jacket because I feel like everyone needs a crop jacket in their winter cozy collection. I can wear this absolutely anywhere. I mean, anywhere that's lounge, loungy to the grocery store, to Aaron running, just lounging in my apartment. I can wear it to sleep, I can wear it to the gym. It's just a really good staple piece. Okay, and the next thing I got was this kind of little cropped sweater thing. It gives me ugly sweater vibes, but in the cutest way. I love how the collars can also flip up. and You can be, have like a turtleneck moment if you want. <laughs> I would like things to hit a bit more of, you know, right here on me, just right above my belly button, but it's what happens when you are short. Things just don't fit you the same and you just have to live life like that, so. Okay, so the next thing I got is this bodysuit that I love. I'm obsessed. How many times can I say I'm obsessed in this one video? I love this color right now. This is also kind of the color I'm going for in my apartment and I just love it. It's like a very muted blush and it's just so pretty. So I figured this would be a really good staple for anything. I really love these kind of bodysuits paired with some sweats and some heels. I think that looks so so cute. I'm really living for this. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite things that I'm going to show you guys in this haul. It is this really cute, like, what color is this? This is so soft. I wish you could feel it. It's the softest thing ever, but also so warm and cozy and also really lightweight at the same time. And I just think it's so perfect for fall. Winter. Oh my God, stop. Look how cute these look together. This is adorable. I'm so into these oversized jackets right now that are in because they're just so comfy and cozy and that is just what I am about, baby. Comfy and cozy. It's either comfy and cozy or like super tight but movable. That's what I like. Yes, this is just absolutely beautiful. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need that. It's from Wrangler and it's the last piece that I'm gonna be showing you guys from Nordstrom. Okay, I'm sorry, that wasn't the last thing. This is the last thing. I picked up just this really cute everyday crop shop, crop top shirt that says Portobello Ranch and I have no idea what that means, but I have no idea what any of my shirts say to be honest. Okay, are we joking? Are we joking? Look at how cute this is. This is just like you walk in and you're like, that's right bitches. I'm the CEO and what? What about it? What do you want? Don't bother me, shoo shoo pebble. Don't talk to me, I'm that bitch. Like, this is so cute and I love how it has this um, thing that cinches in your waist because it's like very professional and but also gives you shape and really comfortable but also gives you shape. I will say this is definitely for in the colder months, obviously it's long sleeve. But I wouldn't wear it if it's like even a little bit hot outside because these sleeves are gonna get to you because I'm, I also have been trying on a lot of clothes. So I'm just kind of hot in general. And it's also a romper, which, yes. Okay, so for dinner, I just wanted to show you guys what I made. It's a big burrito with beans, rice, and Beyond Beef crumbles. I'm just going to work on OnlyFans for a little bit, eat this, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. Okay, so I, I popped or I tried to pop this pimple up here and I popped this pimple over there. So just disregard that. It is now 10 p.m. and I don't think I'm going to go work out just because it's a little bit too late. I'm a little bit too tired to really push myself like that. But the week is young. It's only Monday and I'm just coming off of four days straight of working out. So I'm just going to actually go to the gym and do some yoga for an hour and I'll film like the first 20 minutes for you guys and then turn it off because the whole hour is gonna be like really long. I don't know if my camera can even film that much. I just also wanted to say um, in regards to kind of like 
Getting out of a slump, I have been today just really trying to feed myself positive thoughts. Like every time I catch myself in a negative mindset, I'll try to turn it around and like say I'm just kind of like, you know, just thinking negatively over and over and I'll be like, okay, no, you're happy, you're blessed, you're grateful, you're all of these other things and it's really made the biggest difference on my mood. You can seriously turn anything around to be in your favor. And I know this sounds like, I hate to sound cringy like this and like preachy almost, but honestly, it's just what's been helping me. You know, I've been thinking lately, like I'm so lonely. Even just living alone, it's you're surrounded by yourself so much and I could easily take that and be like, I'm lonely, I'm this and that. But today I kind of caught myself thinking that like, that whole like, Sorry, there's like a light over there. <laughs> I was <laughs> thinking I'm lonely, like, and then I was like, no, I love being alone because it allows me to get more done than I would if someone else was here and I can protect my energy better by myself and all of this stuff. So I really like made it into a blessing and just loads of other examples that I could go on and on about, about kind of just making the situation that you're in, just reframe it in your mind into something positive and like i said i hate to sound preachy because i don't have everything figured out trust me trust me but if that can help you in the slightest like if you just catch yourself uh like today is such a bad day everything's going wrong sometimes you really just need to say like screw it and turn on the tv just take a nice hot bath but sometimes you can catch yourself and be like okay no this happened because of this and i am in a great mood now and I'm going to do this isn't this today and I'm gonna feel so good afterwards and I'm happy and I'm gonna smile regardless So I just I can't stand how cringy this sounds <laughs> But I hope it helps you guys <laughs> Okay, so I forgot that my gym closes at 10 And it's 10 40 right now. So I'm going to do 45 minutes of yoga I have this 45 minute deep stretch yoga pulled up right now also my floor is really dirty because I don't have a vacuum yet, but I am hopefully going to get one tomorrow, so don't judge me. stress enough the benefits of yoga on your mental health in your body and it is one of the best things you can do for yourself for anti-aging which I am all the way about and it just makes sense like yoga lubricates your joints and you know protects your muscles and gets your blood flowing and all of these things that are anti-aging so I will personally be doing yoga till the day I die. So there's that on that. I just wanted to give you guys some inspo if you're feeling down in the dirt like I was and to just not give up on yourself. I am really sorry for how cringe this is, but like it's just, I don't know what else to say. Sorry, I'm just a cringe human being. Don't give up on yourself. Don't stop fighting to think positively. Don't stop fighting to be a better you and keep the momentum going and don't beat yourself up if you do get down and out again because you know, life is like this and that's just it's how it's gonna be forever. So you gotta just learn how to pick yourself up out of them ditches, you know? Mm -hmm. Bars. <laughs>
Okay, all right. Good night. <laughs> I can't miss diamonds on my neck and on my wrist. Now they tryna get me out of mix. That's why me and Bo we don't.